Uy, hello! Hi, Be! Kamusta ka na? I miss you na! Oh, miss you din, miss you din. Okay lang naman ako. Bukod sa okay lang, kamusta? Ganyan ka rin ba? Hello, what's up, wonderful people? It's me again, your wonderful Mela. So, ayan, today, magkakaroon tayo ng self-check or self-evaluation. And we're going to answer the hardest question of all time, which is, Kamusta ka? I've experienced a lot of time na kapag nangangamusta ako, ang common na sagot ay, Okay lang. Okay lang po. Ayos naman po ako. Mabuti naman. Pero in reality, hindi talaga okay. Or karamihan, mas malala, hindi talaga nila alam kung kamusta nga ba sila. I believe malaking problema talaga kapag hindi mo alam kung kamusta ka, ka-wonderful. That is why in this video, gusto kong tulungan kayo to evaluate yourself, to evaluate your feelings, and to identify kung kamusta ka nga ba, kamusta ka, Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, ma-identify natin yan with these five tips I will be giving to you. So, without further ado, let's begin. Tip number one, pause and reflect. Take time to digest what you feel and it's okay to have a pause sometimes. Minsan, we are so caught up sa mga nangyayari sa paligid natin na nakakalimutan na natin to take a break, to give ourselves some time para evaluate yung sarili natin to have some me time diba? minsan hindi natin alam kung kamusta ba talaga tayo because we are too busy we are too caught up sa mga kaganapan at mga gawain natin sa buhay na hindi na natin nakakamusta yung sarili natin kamusta yung well-being natin okay pa ba ako, masaya pa ba ako sa ginagawa ko and kapag ganun, ang hirap ang hirap kapag hindi mo na alam kung kamusta ka ba because you are just too busy of so many things in your life. So, mahalaga ka wonderful na magpahinga, magpahinga paminsan-minsan and just to reflect and have some meditation, diba? some quiet moment para maunawaan mo rin, ma-figure out mo rin sa sarili mo kung ano nga ba yung nararamdaman mo, kamusta ka nga ba. My second tip is try to have a journal. Write out what you feel at the moment or anything na nasa isip mo sa mga oras na yan, mahalaga na you write out what you feel and what is in your mind kasi you are being more able na ma-evaluate yung sarili mo when you write it out. Misin kasi there are so many things na sa isip natin na hindi natin ma-contain, hindi na natin uh, ma-handle. So, ayun, na masyado na tayong ano, nabubombard, masyado na tayong puno nung mga iniisip natin kaya hindi na natin ma-evaluate hindi na natin maisa-isa kung ano ba, ano na ba nangyayari sa atin kaya mahalaga ako, wonderful to have a journal, it is very therapeutic I prove and test that na every time hindi ko ma-evaluate yung nararamdaman ko I try to write it out kung ano yung pumasok sa isip ko, kung ano yung nasa isip ko yung nararamdaman ko right at that moment I will eventually write it out I will put my feelings on a paper and sort it out kung ano nga ba yung dapat ay hindi ko dapat maramdaman regarding that certain thing or issue. Tip number three would be talk to yourself. Yes, minsan isipin na iba baliw siya ka kausap niya sarili niya but no, it's a good way also to evaluate yourself and your feelings kapag you ask questions sa sarili mo. Sometimes it's good that we confront ourselves kasi minsan we are self-denial. Ay mismo, hindi natin, hindi tayo nagiging totoo sa sarili natin. We are saying, hindi, okay lang ako, okay lang ako. But we are not being honest with ourselves. And that is so unhealthy for you. Na ikaw mismo, hindi ka totoo sa sarili mo. Hindi ka nagiging tapat sa sarili mo. So you are hurting the most yung sarili mo kapag ganun. So kailangan, Minsan magkaroon ka ng you time, nakakausapin mo yung sarili mo, kamusta ka na ba? Anong nararamdaman mo ngayon? Minsan kasi we can't answer yung tanong ng ibang tao. But try to ask yourself, ikaw mismo, di ba? Anong nararamdaman ko? Bakit ko to nararamdaman? Sino ang dahilan ng nararamdaman? 
nararamdaman ko or ano ang dahilan na nararamdaman ko. Those questions to ponder to yourself mismo. And kung parang feeling mo parang ang awkward naman, you can try na to speak with yourself sa mirror or to speak with yourself sa yung mind. ba? Diba? Ako personally, ginagawa ko na always speak to myself sa aking mind. Wait lang, parang hindi na tama yung ginagawa mo. Uh, okay ka lang ba? Bakit ko yun nasabi? Bakit ko yun nagawa? So, in that way, I also evaluate kung ano ba tong uh, status ko. Kamusta ba ako? Ano na ba nangyayari sa akin? Tip number four, and I believe the most effective ways para malaman ko kamusta ka is to talk to God. Speak to God, talk to God in prayer because there are times that we cannot understand ourselves. And sa mga panong, hindi mo maunawain sarili mo, God is the one who understands you very well. He knows you very well. Mas kilala ka ng Diyos kaysa sa kilala ka ng ibang tao at kaysa sa kilala mo sa sarili mo. Iba yung pagkakakilala ng Lord sa'yo. Kaya it's good to talk to God. But speak out your feelings to God. Pour out your heart to God. Kasi si Lord, He will never judge you. Kung ano man yung sabihin mo, Lord, ganito yung nararamdaman ko. Nasasaktan ako dahil sa ganito, dahil sa ganyan or Lord, hindi ko maunawaan kung ano ba yung nararamdaman ko tulungan mo ako to evaluate myself Lord, and tulungan mo ako na masort out yung mga feelings na meron ako in that way, you will also heal and you will feel na talagang na-release mo yung burden sa kalooban mo when you speak to God that is very, very helpful na always pray and know that God is always willing to listen sa'yo and lastly, tip number 5 is to read your Bible. Talagang ma-evaluate mo yung sarili mo at malalaman mo kung kamusta ka nga ba when you read your Bible. Because as the Bible says in the book of James, the Word of God is like a mirror. Na kapag nagbasa ka, kung ano yung makita mo, kung ano yung mabasa mo sa Word of God, that pertains to you. And that is you exactly. Yun yung status mo, yun yung current need mo na pinapakita sa'yo ng Lord through the Word of God. That is why the most effective way para malaman mo kung kamusta ka is to read your Bible. Minsan, we are hesitant to read because isip natin, at tatamaan ako sa mababasa ko. But that is the very reason kaya ka magbabasa because when you open your Bible, it speaks to you and it will show you, eto ka, eto yung nararanasan mo ngayon, you need to confront it and don't run away with it kasi hindi mo malul- masusolusyonan yan kung hindi mo yan harapin. So, reading the Word of God Uh, hindi ka lang mabibigyan niya ng kung ano yung present status mo mabibigyan ka rin niya ng solusyon at kung ano yung dapat mong gawin dun sa status ng puso mo, ng buhay mo ba diba? all in one na yan eh. when you read your bible, makikita mo yung sarili mo and makikita mo kung ano yung dapat mong gawin based dun sa pinakita sa iyo ng word of God so it's very instructional, correction and full of guidance kaya napakahalaga that you read your bible mga wonderful So, ayan, that's all for my five simple tips para sa iyo, ka-wonderful. I pray na meron niyang maitulong whenever you are struggling to evaluate yourself and to sort out your feelings kung kamusta ka na nga ba. And ano man yung kalabasan ng pagsiself-check mo, know that whatever you are feeling is valid and you are allowed to feel it. Diba? Everyone of us has good days and bad days. Lahat tayo nakakaramdam yan and there is always a time for everything. A time to be happy, a time to be sad and okay lang yan. It's okay not to be okay, ka wonderful. So, don't push yourself too much na kailangan ko maging okay agad, kailangan ko maging okay no. Uh, just be patient with yourself and Pwede ka rin mag-seek ng help sa mga tao, reliable person na makakatulong sa'yo. And I'm also willing to help you, ka Wonderful. Whenever you need it, you can contact me in my Instagram account, Wonderful Mela. And for our hashtag verse of the day na babaunin, here is Hebrews 4 verse 12. So, sabi ron, God's word is living and active. It is sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even the dividing souls and spirit joints and marrows, it judges the thoughts and attitude of the heart. So, ayan. Yung word of God, kaya yun yung pang last na tip na binigit ko. Because talagang proven and tested. Yung word of God, it is living and active because once you read it, sabi nga, the word of God, when you read it, it, read, it reads you. 
ko ikaw yung binabasa ng Word of God because it judges the thoughts and attitude of the heart. So, kung ano yung mabasa mo, kahit sa ang parte pa ng Bible, basahin mo, it will only reflect kung ano ka, kung ano yung status mo, right at that moment you open your Bible. Kaya, ibig sabihin, God knows us very well. He, he will always give what we need and kung ano yung dapat para sa atin when we open our Bible. So, napaka-beneficial and napaka-benda nun para sa atin na alam mo yun, always present ang Word of God para sa atin. Kaya, wag natin i-neglect. It is very wonderful that we have the Word of God that we can always trust, di ba? Kung yung salita ng tao pa bago-bago, the Word of God, di ba? Matthew 24, 35. The world will pass away, but the word of God will not pass away. It will always live by, di ba, from generation to generation. So, cherish your moment reading the word of God, mga ka-wonderful. And if you want to know kung paano mag-devotion or paano mag-Bible study, I will put the link of my previous blog about uh, Devotion 101 here, there, or on the description box. So, you may... Uh, watch it as well, mga ka-wonderful. Again and again, thank you so much, ka-wonderful. If you like this video at mayroon kang natutunan, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe kung hindi ka pa nagsasubscribe para makapanood ka pa ng more videos like this beauty, art, and lifestyle vlogs every week. So, ayan. Thank you so much, ka-wonderful. And see you on my next one. God bless!